last video, we had a look to see how we could edit a post on the front end. You'd have the post at the top and you would see the edit field at the bottom. You could edit those fields in that form, hit submit, and the post is updated. In this video, we're going to have a look and see how we can do the same thing, but for posts that are in the draft status. So we head off to the back end and go and have a look at our posts. We'll go and then select a post that is in the draft status. So there we have a draft post. We will then select preview. Right, so the post is loading. As you can see, you have your post and then we have the edit form. The difference between editing a post that is already published and one that's in draft view is that if I come into my form here, I've edited the title and I select submit. You'll see that immediately it comes up with the image that's missing and also the categories are missing. However, if I select edit post, you'll see that test and uncategorized and here is the image. And the reason for that is because the post that we're looking at is in a preview mode. So you can't edit a post if it's in the preview mode and that's why none of the edits were taken. That's why some of the information in the fields was missing. So here you can see my post is loaded and as you can see, I do have a featured image. And if I scroll down, you'll see here that I do have categories selected. There's the featured image again. So the reason it wouldn't edit on the front end is purely because I'm in the preview mode. So in order to remedy that, what we need to do is create a loop showing draft posts on the front end. So at the moment, if I have a look at view posts, you'll see that I have an archive view that shows all the posts that are published. So in, at this point in time, only this post is published. But I now need to create a loop with posts that are not published, that are in the draft view that I can go and edit. Now, I'm working with a templating system called Oxygen Builder, but you could essentially use whatever template system you're using and create the loop. So I'm heading over here to the back end and I'm going to go to Oxygen. I'm going to go to Templates. I'm going to go to my post archive template and I'm going to edit that with Oxygen. Oxygen is loading. So Oxygen is loaded and here we can see in our post archive template that we have the first post loop which shows published content. We'll open up our structure panel on the right hand side. First thing we'll do is add a new section and inside that section we'll go to helpers and we'll look for easy post. So we're now going to create a loop which will look at posts that are in the draft status. So if I head over to the query, you'll see that it's currently in the default view. If I go to custom, I can do the custom post type. In filtering, I can only choose between taxonomies, taxonomies and authors, which doesn't help me because I need to edit the status. So here we have uh, the option to enter our own query parameters. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, post per page equal to, uh, let's make that to minus one so that all posts show, and then post underscore status equals draft. Right, and we can apply that. So that is being applied. And here we can see there we have the draft post and there we have the published post at the top. So with that in place, we can now hit save. We'll go back to the front end. There we can see our post loop. We refresh that page. 
And you'll see now that the draft posts appear at the bottom of the page. When I now go in to edit that draft post, here we have our post and beneath it we have the form. So what we can do now is just duplicate that title, scroll down, hit submit. And you'll see that the post title has now been updated with the duplicate title. Right. However, at the moment, there's still no option here to change the post status from draft to publish. So we're going to now update the form with that information. So we can head back into custom fields first. And the first thing that we need to do is create a custom field referencing draft or publish status for posts. So we go into our news posts field group, add new field. We'll go to our new field called it new status. Because you can only choose one or the other, we'll make it a radio button. And here in choices, we will put publish and draft, or maybe and just to make sure we'll use lowercase draft or publish. You don't need to make it compulsory because it's automatically created when a post is created anyway. The next thing that we'll need to do is head over to our form. Now remember that the we need to select the fields that are available in each of the forms. So we'll head over to our edit post form now. So edit news. And once we're on the edit news form, uh, uh, edit form, we will go to load and we will look for post status. And the post status here, we will call it the new status field. So we've now taken that from the new status custom field and we need to include it there as well. When we look at save, you'll see that post status now saves to the new status field. So those are linked correctly. We can update. Once that is updated, we can head back to our front end form. So we'll refresh the page. Right, with the page refreshed, you'll see that it automatically has selected draft and we know that it is in the draft mode. So if I go back to my posts, you'll see that I have my published post loop at the top of the page and here I have my posts that are in the draft status. So I'm going to select that post and I'm going to scroll down. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just double up on the text and I'm going to change that status then to publish. I'll submit that form. All right, submitted. I'm going to go back to posts and now you'll see that that post that was listed below in the draft section is now at the top of the page in the published post section. So that's how easy it would be to 
to update a post. If I wanted to take a post out of the published and back into the draft, I would simply click on the post, scroll down, change to draft, hit submit. And when I now go to the post page, you'll see that this post is now appearing in the draft post loop at the bottom of the page. Right, so that's how easy it is to change the status of a post on the front end using a front end form from the draft status to publish or from publish back to draft or to edit any of the information included in that post. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.